get her get her tuned up brother she's dialed got the lope tune gotta, gotta put that car is that carbonated that that's carbonation right there my boy <laughs> Something's telling me you might need a little, little tune-up there on the old Hemi, if that's what that thing is. Anyway, guys, welcome back. <laughs> that would happen first thing, right? Anyway, guys. Wow. Anyway, boys, welcome back to another video. How's it going? What's, what's today? Tuesday? Tuesday a.m. We're at the old, uh, you know, the worst place in the world as of, you know. Pump and dump. <laughs> All right, so we're filling up for a road trip, right? So uh, first off, huge thank you to anyone and everyone who supports us and got anything uh, on the Wrenchworks giveaway. Uh, Wrenchworks giveaway number seven, officially over. Last time you'll ever hear me plug it, but I just want to give you guys a huge thank you just to keep you guys in the loop here. It takes two to three weeks for our third party sweepstakes company to get back to us with the winner and do all of the legal proceedings on how you legally get a winner on a legitimate giveaway. We don't go online, we don't type in numbers, and we don't do it ourselves. It's all handled third party, so you guys don't have to worry about legitimacy. So, anyway guys, stay tuned for that, but anyway, just wanna give you guys a huge thank you. It is over, it's closed. Next giveaway, Wrenchworks giveaway number eight, coming at you. For First part of September. Go ahead, take your guesses below. You're never, you're never gonna guess it. But anyway, what I miss there? Like I threw that in there. Yeah. I, 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 I always forget, but I have to say thank you, guys. But anyway, guys, a hundred dollars later, we're gonna be hitting the road. So here we go. You know, we're gonna be some basic, we're gonna be some basic white girls today, and go get some Starbucks because around here there's no good place to get breakfast, honestly. So that's what we're doing. We're in the 15. We're headed to Indiana. Honestly, I think we're in Indiana quite, quite often. We might as well just. We need to get another uh, temporary permanent residency up here in uh, the old Indiana, Indiana, Indianapolis. So anyway, boys, that's the gist of this morning. I don't know about you guys, but fuel prices are actually coming down around here. They were, they were. Uh, uh, you know, not much, not much, not not enough. They need to go back to where they were, just like everything else. It's yeah, you know, we're all made of money out here. Just, just keep continuing to just give it to us. I mean, I just shook some off my tree before we came, but oh. you must not have one of those. You didn't. No. Want, you know, you didn't uh, I, I live trees. in a I live in a complex. Oh, they don't allow money trees they there. They don't allow money tree there. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, we're letting Dawson drive because. Uh, I may have stayed up a little late last night. I ain't taking that. Dawson always drives. <laughs> Dawson likes driving. I love driving. I'm not complaining. I'm actually, I prefer to drive because somebody, not naming any names or pointing any fingers, but they kind of do a whole lot of this action. Wow. So, you know, it's way better if I Not naming any names. So what you're saying is you don't like my driving. What? No. I get no. it. I'm actually a great driver when I'm not distracted when you're going but in the, the straight but line, I'm distracted a hundred the track but I'm distracted a hundred percent of the time all right all right this I just happen to be distracted a hundred percent of the time yeah that's correct yeah that is correct just telling everyone where you yes can I get a mocha choco frappa bullshit please uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh what do you want that uh, a, a venti or oh, I'm sorry the grande is this yeah, you've never been called uh, grande in your life, my boy. <laughs> no, nah, if, hey, if grande means this, we grande for you. <laughs> <laughs> Call us the grande, boys. Wow, there's a cute little, uh, little blonde Asian lady. Are you trying to pick up? Oh shoot! Trying to pick up another mommy over here. What's up, baby? Take me out to dinner. Take me out to dinner. Yeah, I just pay for fuel. I mean, I can't afford, you know. <laughs> Tell me you're a basic white girl without telling me you're a basic white girl, you know? Let's go get the starties. All right, you're doing that way too well. Well, you know, what you don't know is on a Friday night, or every day that it ends in Y, they want to clock out. They're just going to get pissed at this diesel idling. They're going to be like, you, you... All right, we should stop. You're killing the turtles. 
<laughs> Give me my paper straw so I can just mm, drink, Oh my gosh. Drink that, that, that paper straw. That is the worst. You get a little closer so you, the, the, the people can hear uh, hear you. Oh gosh. See, she's mad. <laughs> Yo, she's mad. Is that your girl? It is my girl. Oh, that was your girl. What's up, mom? She had to listen to it at the traffic light and yeah. here. Oh, they moved the location of this. Yeah, of course. What else for you? I think that's it. I think that'll do it. All right, it'll be 2374. We'll see you at the window. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Got the whole paycheck out here. <laughs> I can't see you. Sorry, the, the light in this camera just was not very oh, happy. You know? <laughs> can, you, can you please make that with a paper straw? Yeah. <laughs> I would request a paper straw. Ma'am, can I please have a paper straw so I can just enjoy all that delicious wood scent flavor up in my mouth? <clears throat> <laughs> you think she's running away? I didn't get it on camera. You're like, what size is large? <laughs> No, Vandy. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. Bro, you didn't even come in your Tesla to Starbucks, dude. Hey. You just hate the world, don't you? Morning, how are you? Morning, how are you? Doing good, thanks, Russ. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. We forgot money. Oh. Napkins, just in case. Oh, you're an angel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. We'll be out in just a moment. Did you want your receipt? Sure. Thank you. Of course. What are y'all's plans for the day? Oh, we are traveling to Indiana. What are you doing in Indiana? We have another vehicle to pick up. You have another one? A vehicle to pick up. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. What vehicle are you picking up? No, it's another truck like this. No way I can drive a truck. Why? When my car broke down and my dad let me borrow his truck, I went nowhere unless absolutely possible, like necessary, and I'd park at the very back of the car lot, and I had no idea where I was at on the road. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> That sounds scary. It's Holy cow. Those are huge. You wouldn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Have a good day. Good luck with everything. Thank you. See you too. Of wow. I've never seen someone fumble that so bad. Who fumbled? You. Why? Because you could have been like, I could have gave you lessons. Like, I'll let you drive this truck anytime you want. And when I mean truck, I mean what? Uh, yeah, I could have, but, you know. Bro, you, that, zero moves. Zero out of ten on that. Here I am, just getting fucking roasted. Wow. I mean, like, <sighs> definitely just been out of the game for a while, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't, doesn't go like that. Okay, all right. You, now you don't even know where to go. Yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm you are extremely flustered I'm right flustered now. I'm flustered right now. Because she actually had tried to carry on a conversation. You didn't have to do anything. Yeah, I know. I was definitely taking off. You called her an angel, and then she wanted to talk, and you're just like, we're oh, picking up a vehicle. You could have been like, man, we got another sweet truck we're picking up. I'm Take gonna, you for a ride in my Lamari, dude. You know, I should have told her to pick up a Lamborghini or something. Like, just fucking. She fuck. opened the door. It was like a double door that she, oh, she opened them both up, and you just... Boys, I tell you, I tell you, you know, I, I'm sorry, I let you down. You know, you let all the boys down. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? At least, <laughs> at least we got our white girl drinks. You know, like this is any better? Golly, this just goes right along with not <sighs> acting this morning. Yeah, little, yeah, little yeah. Prissy, little, yeah. little, little, little Miss, little Miss, little Miss Daw. How you feeling over there, buddy? You honestly. Don't Are you know. driving a vehicle? Is this a vehicle? <laughs> This is a vehicle, right? Yeah. Oh, is this a truck? A vehicle, maybe? Ah, uh, it's a vehicle. Who even says vehicle, dude? Uh, me, apparently. God. I'm just fumbling the bag out here. This dude doesn't even want to go on a road trip anymore. I would like He's to literally, home. he wants his mom. I want my mom and I want to go home. I want to go back to Starbucks and ask for another straw, please. Yeah, I definitely just got mine. <sighs> Hey man, 
I think uh, I, I, I think we found another Starbucks. You wanna you wanna go for round two? <laughs> uh, we're here. We're here. You can redeem yourself. Maybe. Probably not. But we could try. No, not happening. Fat RIP in the chat. Guys, okay, so we are in Indiana. I'm sure you guys know uh, for a couple different reasons on this trip, but Cam from Knockout Customs has the white fifth gen done. And I am very, very excited, but also a little nervous. Uh, I basically was like, I don't want any pictures. I want to be surprised. I don't, like, we went over everything and he has not sent me a single picture. I saw the taillights, I will say I saw the taillights. But other than that, I have not seen the truck what it looks like. I've seen plenty of other white fifth gens out there, but I'm, I'm pretty darn excited to see this thing. Are you about to jump these railroad tracks? I wish, but it's a stop sign. So. Oh, gotcha. So anyway, we're here to pick up the uh, white fifth gen. Guess what? It's hidden. You can't see it. So we're gonna have to get our first look inside. Oh, yeah, it's inside. in that way. Two-tone Cole's neck right there. Wow. Two-tone Cole's about to do Nice. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, we are here uh, for the evening. Uh, but guys, check it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Golly. I have not had enough time to stare at this thing. I don't think I'm going to get bored looking at this thing because this, this is a unit. This is a certified, this is a certified unit. I mean, Cam honestly just absolutely killed this i i wasn't sure how all of the white was gonna look together again you know just first time white truck owner here uh you know again the silver truck was a learning experience this was this is just the next level so let's go through exactly what we did if you guys do not remember from the previous video so we got our lower valance painted actually repainted the front bumper because it had a lot of chips in it fixed a couple imperfections we got our lower grill painted stuck with the uh chrome tow hooks we've got our fog light bezels painted we've got our grill insert this piece right here painted left the chrome inserts got the background of the ram emblem and then left this chrome got that painted absolutely killed the headlights i love I love the headlights. Went ahead and repainted all of our flares because there were some chips and, and kind of dings in, not so, not so much dings, but like just, just paint chips in the fender flares. So we repainted all of the fender flares. Got our mirrors painted. We've got our 
emblems painted here, which makes our Cummins emblem look kind of really out of place. We moved up our uh, Longhorn badges up on the door. Like I said, mirrors, our handles were already painted. Got the boys from Well Shaded, got the, got the windows painted for us. Flares and all of our plastics underneath. Don't, don't mind that we, we trashed it, but we've got our lower plastics, lower plastics in the front, lower plastics here, and we've got our plastics and the rear bumper here. Uh, but we decided to leave the step pad uh, just because it is a truck, it is going to get used. We are going to step on the bumper pad. So I decided to not go extremely crazy on that. So uh, the tail lights, my goodness, we were back and forth on the taillights for quite a while and the taillights honestly came out perfect. I, I love everything that we did. We did the third brake light as well up there. So there's just, so from, from a perspective of paint matching, if you've ever paint matched say a fourth gen or a third gen, there is about triple the amount of stuff on a fifth gen than there is on a third or fourth gen. So it is, quite a bit more involved fully paint matching a fifth gen truck but it looks absolutely killer oh forgot to mention we got like i said we did we did some details we got the white on the back badge there i want to say there was a badge back here that we took off their four by four badge don't forget all of these oh yeah those two on the front too the bezel around those oh the be yeah see these bezel pieces come i for i forgot all about that yeah just details. This is honestly my favorite. This the back badge. This badge and the front badge. Yeah, the I front badges. Bad. Yeah, this this red and this badge I don't really don't really love anymore. But yeah, this plus this. Oh yes, and that and pop pop the door open. Pop the door open. We forgot because or the uh, back. They're in the back. The cab lights. Cam did not have uh, enough time to knock out the cab lights, which is fine because we are more than capable of doing that. But the big thing was to have them painted. <laughs> so we got white paint matched cab lights. Oh, I, I know I gave wait. you a hard time. But I can't cool. wait. I can't wait. So the whole truck, uh, like I said, we, we did all clear lights just like we've been doing in all of the rest of the trucks. So we've got the LEDs. We've got the LEDs. We've got the... Um, what are these boost auto boost switchbacks. boost auto switchbacks in the mirror so those are clear now as well and then we're gonna have the clears up there but he did paint the antenna and um i forget whatever that other thing is up there but yeah we got we got the package boys goodness absolute gracious it looks killer um oh, yeah, she's dialed. <laughs> dialed that's really it's gonna be the new <laughs> dialed Oh, yeah, Michael, love that. Yeah, I get the head dialed. Anyway, boys. <laughs> uh, Larry the Longhorn just popping out, taking people's necks right now because. Dialed. Fix your hat while you say dialed, please. Yeah, dialed. Golly, guys. But anyway. Next up, wheels, tires, suspension. Uh, we've got all that stuff coming, but super pumped. But there is going to be a second part to why we are staying in Indiana this evening. You'll see that in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. But if you guys need paint work, uh, Cam does wheels, tires, paint work. Cam does a lot. Cam basically does vehicle transformations. And his style and uh, the way he does everything is absolutely killer. He did a phenomenal job on the paint match. So if you guys are or looking for someone to help you take your ride to the next level with the paint, with wheels and tires, suspension, whatever it may be, Cam is your man. He is in Indiana in the Brownsburg-ish area. So, Knockout Customs, you already know. You already know who to hit up. Hit him up, we'll put his information on the screen down below. Get with him, let him know, let him know that I sent you. We got the 15 out here just looking, looking dirty, looking really dirty. You know, it's been, it's, it's not dialed. That is pretty much gonna wrap up this video. We will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yeah, just crank her right up, boys. <laughs> but that's gonna wrap it up. We'll see you in the next video. See ya.